Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we're going to look at three new shades, a little capsule collection, if you will, from Lisa Eldridge. These are the new three shades of her Liquid Lurex Liquid Eyeshadow. I have all three here. We're going to try all three of them on and talk a little bit about these new shades and the Liquid Lurex shadows themselves. So let's get started. In US dollars, each of these little liquid eyeshadows is $27. And the reason I said this is kind of a little capsule collection is the addition of these three makes for a total of 14 shades in Liquid Lurex eyeshadows. But these three um, kind of really go together in a nice way. They're kind of a capsule collection that's inspired Lisa Eldridge says, from the antique threading, gold threads, and all of the silks in, in theatrical costumes. And in fact, all three of these shades are named for uh, female, famous female characters in Shakespearean works. So for instance, we have Titania, which is a black gold shade. We will swatch it, don't worry. That is, you might be familiar with from As the Fairy Queen from the Midsummer Night Dream play from Shakespeare. We have Cressida, which is a kind of a pearl shade. We'll look at it swatched in a moment. And of course, Cressida is from Troilus and Cressida, of course. And then the shade that you're getting a little preview of right now on my eyes, Viola, and that, of course, from Twelfth Night. I'm an English major, though, so I enjoy this kind of thing. And this is quite a royal plum, very royal indeed. These are long wearing, just like the other shades that they joined to make 14 total. You do not have to use a brush. I brought some brushes over for the demo, didn't end up using them. Lisa Eldridge famously says you don't need to use them you can. There's no rules if you want to. And they make a kind of a three-dimensional look. So as you can see, it looks like I spent a lot more time on my eye look than I actually did today. Um, they, you know, it's quick. You don't, and you can use brushes, but you certainly don't have to. And it does give a multi-dimensional look. You can mix and match them. You can use them under or over shadows. But today we're going to just try them purely as they are because it's my first experience with them too. All right, first off, let's take a look uh, first in Studio Light at the way the shades look um, on the back of my hand. So we are going to start with Titania, which as I told you is a, a black gold shade. And let's just put that right there. These can be worn in one layer, which is kind of a soft, gentle infusion, or you can definitely build them up, you can shear them out, you can really do whatever you want with them and look at how beautiful that is as it reflects. We'll take it outside in a moment, don't worry. Let's look at Cressida. This is a pearl shade that, as I say throughout this video, I would probably more likely generally use on the uh, in, inner corner of the eye, but you know, it has a kind of a a pinkish gold cast to, cast to it. It's a pearl shade that I think is absolutely lovely. So take a look at that one there. Isn't that pretty? Titania there and Cressida there. And then the shade you're getting a little bit of a preview of on my eye right now. Here is our Twelfth Night Heroine Viola and this beautiful royal plum shade. Again, just one and done there, or you can kind of spread it out or shear it out. Look at how beautiful. But if you really want to see the way these look, you do what I like to do when you take them outside into the warm California sunshine. Here's the same hand, the same shades. Take a look at them on my hand out there in natural lighting, which I think is the best way to see it. What we're going to do now in the demo is we are going to try them each on just as a one and done shade. When it is my first um, go at it, I don't combine them or do them with other things. I just want to use them unadulterated because this is a video for you to see if these are shades that you might like to uh, try out. They were just released the other day. I got them pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and get right now to that demo. Okay, I'm most excited about Viola and I think it goes with my Lisa Eldridge purple sweatshirt here. So what we're going to do since we have three shades and two eyes is we are going to do Titania, um, then we'll do Cressida, and then I'll take it off and we'll see Viola with, you know, mascara and eyeliner on. Um, I would probably generally put these together. I certainly, I think I would probably use um, Cressida, the pearl shade, maybe just in the inner corner and put it with some others. But we're going to try these as kind of a one and done shade because this is my first try with them as well. Okay, so let's just do uh, Titania our fairy goddess here. And this is a kind of a black gold shade. I brought some brushes over, but as Lisa Eldridge says, you do not need them. You could go ahead and just gently 
use your fingers, which is what I'm kind of trying to do. I do have some brushes here though, in case I need them. Again, a gentle wash of color, or you can make it a little more striking. There it is as a gentle wash of Titania, which is a super pretty color. I was very gentle with my fingers on my eyelid, um, because we don't want to pull that skin, but of course you know I'm not going to go in too boldly there. Look how pretty that is. And it kind of gives a three-dimensional look almost as if I used a few um, varying shades of the same hue. And then I'm going to take the little wand here. Now that I've used a lot of the product that's on it, and I'm just going to go right underneath the eye. Just like that right there. And that's Titania, absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's look at Cressida now. And as I just told you, this pearl shade is probably one I would generally use, maybe just for the inner corner. I'm worried it might be a bit too pearly, uh, just as a one and done shade, but there's only one way to find out. And again, please remember, I do not have any mascara or eyeliner on. We're just kind of trying this just bare here. Oh, it is certainly pretty, almost taking on a little bit of a, of a pinky hue. Oh, actually, look at that as a one and done kind of pearl shade um, as a very subtle, we're gonna build it up a little bit, but it's very pretty uh, when it is subtle. Um, these are really, really great shadows or I should, liquid shadows, I should say, for uh, those of us like me who have hooded eyes, because since you can kind of just go in with them and tap them in with a finger or gently with a brush, you can, there's no real differentiation, too much differentiation, a good thing between the lower part of the lid and the upper. So you can really kind of run it up. I can make it a little darker along the lash line. I can, as I like with this one, put it into the inner corner. I could run it underneath the eye. You could kind of do whatever you want. And with um, hooded eyes, that's really kind of a nice thing to be able to do. There we go, just so you can look at that. Again, no liner and no uh, mascara, of course, but we have Cressida on this eye and Titania on this eye. As I told you, I'm most excited actually about Viola. So let's come back with clean eyes and then we'll put Viola on both. Stay right there. Okay, totally clean eyelids. I did put on a little bit of mascara and we're gonna do Viola now. Now please remember, you can of course mix these and match them. You can even put a little bit of a matte bronzer into your crease or whatever it is that you want to do. There's no rules here. I'm just trying them as a one and done because, well, I'm just playing with them and let's see what they look like in their purest form. Here is Viola. Super excited about this one. Look at that. Okay, hey, gonna just use my fingers here. I do have some brushes. I brought them over just in case. So far I haven't succumbed to their temptation. Wow. Now maybe it's because, though a bit backwards, I added some mascara. It gives me a better idea of a finished look. But so far this really is my favorite. And like I said, that could be unfair because the other shades did not get the advantage of having a little bit of eyeliner and mascara, which this Viola shade does. Oh, wow, you guys, this is super pretty, though. I mean, you know, any way you look at it. Here's a little bit of, you know, smudging on the edges, which is why I sometimes do want to use a brush. And of all three shades, this might be the one I would use a brush on because it's the darkest, really, of the three. Even though I do know that Titania is kind of a kind of a black gold, I still think this one's the darkest. So, you know, as you see, I was a bit klutzy and got a little bit out there. But it doesn't look bad. Now this eye. And building it up on this eye. And then underneath both eyes with what's, I'm going to tap off a little bit, see on the cap here. But come on, look at that. I'm not even, I could take a brush and just kind of diffuse that a little bit, but I don't really want to. And I'm going to take even a little bit of the shadow and build it up just on the edges there. What do you think? You know, these are my favorite yet, actually. I like the Lisa Eldridge Liquid Lorax shades, but th this Viola is definitely my favorite. It's a, it's a neutral, but it's got just a little bit of interest, kind of a 
really kind of blackish purple royal plum as uh, Lisa Eldridge describes it. And it feels kind of Shakespearean. <laughs> to me anyway these are really pretty I feel like that's a really dramatic eye that was so simple though I sped up a little bit of the video you guys pretty much saw it in real time pretty quick a little bit more blush a little bit more pronounced lip wow something really really beautiful all right let me know if you ordered any of these I think that Lisa Eldridge really has a winner on her hand with these beautiful shades uh, so let me know your thoughts please that's what makes us a community give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it I sure hope that you did if you haven't already done so make sure that you subscribe to this channel as we turn over to 12,000 subscribers and look forward to more as we reach into the new year. I love to say hello to you guys over on Instagram and TikTok too. And don't forget that you can become a member of this channel. That and super thanks do help to keep the lights on around here, so to speak. But if nothing else, I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.